Let's get into the walk around of the 2018 RCF 10th anniversary special edition. It's got a long name. Uh, this car is quite stunning as you guys can see. Only 240 of these are going to be released in America. I'm not quite sure on the numbers worldwide, but it is a fairly limited, uh, as you guys would know, in a special edition, there's not gonna be a whole lot of these being made. Um, this paint color, guys, is a, it's called a matte finish nebula gray. Um, usually a nebula gray, uh, if you guys can see out there, this ES right there, that's a nebula gray. And it's actually a nebula gray pearl. Um, whereas this one doesn't have any pearl in it. We'll get a little bit closer, you can see. But it's almost like an eggshell finish. That's what it reminds me of. Um, but it is, it is pretty stunning, nonetheless. Um, it has these 19-inch BBS wheels. Now, you can't really tell that they're BBS, but they have the nice Lexus emblem. And from my knowledge, the brakes in here... Uh, these are blue F-Sport calipers, but they're also Brembo's. Now you can't really tell. Now if you can see here, you can see that there's an F in there and we'll get to the other wheel. In the back here, and then you can see the F a little bit better. So that's a nice little touch on the outside. Um, now, if we look at the roof, RCF fashion, we have a nice carbon fiber roof line here. And then, of course, the adjustable spoiler. So when you get up to speed, this carbon fiber spoiler is going to pop up. It looks pretty sharp, I must admit. On the back side, nothing too terribly special about the back side other than the normal RCF. Um, but it looks really good with this glossy black lower bumper area. Of course, your quad tip uh, dual exhaust and your very large and in charge F badge there on the back. Let's go ahead and get it on the inside. Now I just love this shark gale here. I think it looks fantastic. Um, and then we have a little bit better view of you guys. You can see of the F Sport on the front caliper. It's just stunning on those um, those slotted brakes as well. So let's get on the inside. First thing we notice here on the arm, we have this ultra suede with this beautiful blue switch stitching. Now what's also unique to this car is you have this little badge here. Uh, now this is for the 10th anniversary of the F Sport line. Uh, it first came out with the ISF. Um, now this particular carbon fiber, this is real carbon fiber. I've never seen carbon fiber with color in it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get real close so you guys can see the immaculate detail here of this carbon fiber with the blue um, stitching in there. It's just phenomenal. We look at the chair unique chair for this particular 10th anniversary car we have a nice little white racing stripe i, I guess that's what you would call it but it's awesome stitching um, this is almost like 3d here it looks really cool uh, and then a little pass through now i don't know exactly what these seats are they kind of remind me of recaro's but um, sitting in them they're extraordinarily comfortable uh, real quick i'm going to pull the seat forward And just like the normal RC, the, the seat is automatic. Looking back here, we have a ton of detail. I start, I'm sorry it's a little dark in here, but you see the F on the, the headrest there in the back. So even that the back has F, uh, F Sport or F Series racing seats. And then we have a nice little emblem here on the storage area for the cup holders. Uh, but I thought that was a pretty cool little feature there, adding the F. So we're going to put this all the way back. We'll get inside and look at some of the extra detail in here. So the seat hugs you very, very well, as you would expect. This is a, an RCF. It's a very performance-oriented little coupe. Um, <clears throat> the steering wheel is unique. You have this beautiful blue steering wheel with that white racing stripe that I mentioned <clears throat> that is also on the seats, right? It's continued here. Um, of course, this is blue as well, which I've never seen the inside of a Lexus steering wheel, anything other than like tan or black, whatever the color of the car is, or gray. We have amazing stitching here on the inside of the steering wheel. Uh, I wouldn't expect anything else. And this is cool. I just noticed this. Um, we have this nice leather all the way around. It's nice leather all the way around, beautiful stitching. As you can see, the rest of the dash is black. All right. <clears throat> 
Coming to the center here, of course we have Mark Levinson. It's amazing, amazing audio quality. This is leather wrapped all the way around. Now we have black here, and then a nice, the nice blue leather going down the middle, and it just continues all the way about to the middle of the armrest. Speaking of this armrest, we have Ultra Suede Alcantara right here, and it's one of the best feeling armrests I've ever, ever felt, if not the very best. It's just the, the most plush armrest I've ever set my arm on, and it's fantastic. Okay, so back to the shifter. Shifter, we have white stitching here, blue stitching on the other side. Uh, it's very, very, you know, I, I'm, I would just drool if this was, you know, like a six speed, but uh, this is good enough. <laughs> this is gonna be faster than me shifting anyways, uh, manually. So, um, here's your shifter, and as you can see, the, the awesome stitching all the way around get it on the other side as well uh, they just did a really really good job and what's also different about the radio here is these knobs I've never felt these knobs before uh, and they're metal the actual metal I don't remember that uh, in any other RC car I've been in now this is the only RCF uh, vehicle that I've been in so they, these might be standard on your normal RCF but I don't know since this is the only one I've been in um, we have more of that awesome blue carbon fiber stitching here. Oh, it's so cool. And then you can see it again on the opposite door uh, with that ultra suede there on the armrest. So we're gonna fire up, not, not really, we're just gonna turn the electronics on so you guys can get an idea what everything looks like. The cool animation on this. I think this is the 10.3 inch screen. So let's just go to map so you guys can get an idea of what the, the navigation looks like. Uh, it's the same screen that I see in my NX or the NX300. Um, and I like how it's kind of tucked away underneath the dash here. So it's not really popping out uh, at you in any single, any sort of way. Um, but as you can see, this is already turned to black. Uh, I'll press it maybe one more time. See if we can get a little bit more detail. RCF pops up. Now, here, while we're, we're parked, um, the engine not on, you can see the red line is limited. Now, I don't know if that's because the engine would be cold theoretically or if they just limit you in this mode. But there's the sport mode, there's sport plus. There's normal mode, and then eco mode. Whoa, that's really cool. That's the first time I've ever seen eco mode look like that. Um, that's actually like my favorite speedo speedometer of all the choices here, but pretty cool. I'll just cycle through all of them again. Uh, sorry, here's normal, here's sport mode, here's sport plus. Now sport plus looks a whole lot like the normal mode. Here's normal mode, here's sport mode, and sport plus. Okay, um, here's going to be the info, info screen, MPGs, range, fuel, tire pressure, your position, sway warning, units, blah, 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 F. Now this is the only time I've seen this before. Now I've never been in an F car. This is my first time. So, oh, let's go back to that. Uh, if we go here, let's go, uh, sorry, back to the F. You're gonna have a lap timer. You're gonna have history of your fastest times. Torque distribution, right? It's gonna have, a, I'm sure, a limited uh, slip uh, tor torque vectoring in the back. Um, G-forces, pretty cool, and then more tire pressure and then rear wing position. Uh, and then this would be more of your standard info infotainment, your radar cruise control, and then all of your settings, lane departure alert, etc. Rear wing is on, <laughs> it means all, uh, it's up, you, you guys saw that in the very back. Um, and then the ceiling, guys, I haven't gone over the ceiling. So we know on the other side it's a nice carbon fiber, we have this cool diamond plated uh, design that goes all the way back into the rear seats but uh, let me know what you guys think of this car um, I'm gonna sum it up here in a little bit I'm gonna give you a peek real quick of the engine before I do that though I just found out guys that you can raise the spoiler <laughs> just by pressing this button so really like that feature there of course your automatic high beams um, blind spot monitor and parking assist are here as well uh, here is your hood latch and let's get to the front. As you can see, the really cool triple beam LED headlights with the fish hook, check mark, Nike swoosh, whatever you want to call it. And here it is, guys. Here's the 
2 ur gse 5 liter engine producing 467 horsepower um, what i really like is that they continue with the blue theme here uh, it's like this dark blue slash purple color it's absolutely stunning and then we have this carbon fiber i don't know if it's real carbon fiber or not uh, it doesn't really look like it looks like plastic but it still looks really really good um, but that sums it up for this awesome 10th anniversary RCF. Again guys, if you see one of these on the streets, consider yourself lucky because this is a pretty limited car. Like I said, only about 260, sorry, 240 are gonna be here in America. Um, but let me know what your thoughts. Please check that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the comments below.